Hi there. Welcome to my life as a handicap. I'm Helen. Whether you're a handicap like me or just an ordinary person, I hope you would find my videos helpful. In today's video, I would like to share with you my fruitful trip in Okinawa, Japan, as well as how I'm starting to experience the law of attraction. If you are not familiar with the law of attraction, it is simply how to manifest your dreams into reality. So you take actions, overcome obstacles, and let the universe do the rest. You have faith and trust the universe. Then you receive and be grateful. When you really want something, the whole universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. This is the main theme in Paulo Coelho's The Alchemist, which I have read a couple of times, even before I have become a handicap. The messages in this book are profound, like how we should never give in to our fears in order to achieve our dreams. To illustrate this point, I'll take my trip to Okinawa as an example. I've always wanted to travel to Japan since becoming a handicap, as going to Japan used to be my routine every year. My road to initiating this Okinawa trip wasn't a smooth one, but I didn't give up because I fully understand the universe would make it happen if I move into alignment with my desires. And be passionate and enthusiastic about who I am and what I want. I use my power wheelchair as a means of transportation, so obviously I have to bring it everywhere when I travel. Initially, the airline that I was traveling with strongly opposed me bringing my wheelchair onto the flight, as my power wheelchair was overweight. The staff at the airline said that they could only accommodate wheelchairs weighing less than 32 kilograms, but my baby was at least 37 kilograms. So at that moment, I was like, are you kidding me? I couldn't possibly ditch my power wheelchair and go traveling without it. I panicked, but soon I recovered and kept having faith that the universe would hear my prayers that I wanted to make this trip happen. After removing the two batteries and the two foot rests on my power wheelchair, the weight was down to 31 kilograms or so, and I was utterly grateful that I could carry on with my trip. Because of this, it reminded me of a YouTube channel that I have visited before with a Japanese lady traveling around the world in her wheelchair. So if all the sun can do it, why can't I? And this motivated me to ask all, all the sun the type of wheelchair she has been using to travel around the world. Now you may think that the wheelchair problem on the flight was solved. However, it wasn't that easy as another problem revealed itself pretty soon. But I understand that to achieve my dreams, there must be obstacles ahead. So one thing to keep in mind is that have faith in the universe and be enthusiastic and get excited about your dreams. Since I was going to Okinawa for three days, I already planned to join a local tour to visit some world heritage sites like Seva Utaki and Gangala on day two. After signing up for the tour, I sent an email requesting if I could bring my wheelchair onto the bus since I would like to use it in one of the attractions, Okinawa World. The place is vast and I wouldn't be able to walk quick enough to check out the different workshops. But at the same time, I also reassured the company that I wouldn't be using the wheelchair in any of the World Heritage sites. Since their official websites 
already stated that no wheelchairs or baby prams are allowed. So obviously, it is a must to walk through the sites on your own feet. And I only requested to bring my walking stick as an aid. The reply I received from the company was a disappointing rejection of not allowing me to participate in the tour. As being a handicap, I would have difficulties walking through the World Heritage sites. My first reaction was, "Are you discriminating me?" Like I already checked the photos of the World Heritage sites, and fully understood that the roads were rocky and not smooth. After sending emails back and forth, convincing the company that I was capable of walking through the World Heritage sites, especially when Sefa Utaki and Gangala Valley allow handicaps and People with disabilities to enter. I don't see the reason why I wasn't allowed. Keeping my spirits high all the time and being passionate, the universe heard my prayers, and I was eventually allowed to join the local tour. On the day of the tour, a minivan picked us the participants up at our hotel. And I would like to thank Wang Zan, our Korean driver, for driving us to all the attractions for the entire day. Otsukaresama deshita. Iro iro to arigato gozaimashita. I couldn't hold my excitement because I would be immersing in the Ryukyu culture. Seva Utaki is a sacred place, as it is said that the Ryukyu goddess created the Ryukyu Islands. And descended on one of them, Kudagajima, and also made a landfall on Okinawa Island, exactly on Sefa Utaki, hence the purified place. It would be a lie to say that I didn't struggle while climbing the steep, jagged slopes. I knew well my left toes were all curled up inside my trainer, but no matter how much excruciating pain I was experiencing. I had never thought of giving up because it took me a long way from overcoming the wheelchair problem on the flight to being rejected from participating in this tour. Now that I was walking on this holiest land, I would like the Liu Goddess to know my perseverance, that I was showing my respect to her by conquering the treacherous path. When the guide asked us to pray to the Liu Qiu deity, I did it with all my heart, thanking the goddess for giving me courage to come here and walk on this sacred place. I was almost moved to tears when praying. I do believe miracles do happen when you trust the universe. Remember, I said my left toes were all curled up earlier. After ascending the slopes. Here came the difficult descent. However, on several occasions, I felt my left toes uncurled themselves and could lie flat inside the trainer. Of course, you may say that I might have experienced incorrect sensation, since with my damaged right brain, my loss of sensation of the left side of my body is rather severe. Anyhow. At least I survived the descent, though I think I had damaged my walking stick due to the rocky roads. One thing I was grateful for was that a number of Japanese wanted to offer help, like they gave me their arm so my left hand could grab onto something for stability, while my right was holding my walking stick and my dad's arm. However. All I could say was, "Moshi wa kenai des." Hitari ga wa chotto ugo kenai des. I couldn't move my left hand, no matter how much I would like to grab onto something, without losing my balance. And another thing I was grateful for was the pleasant sunny weather. It was utterly a splendid day for hiking. There was no time to rest after completing the first World Heritage site, Seva Utaki, 
as one son, our driver dropped us off at Gangala Valley in no time. I guess I was under the protection of the Liu Qiu deity because I felt totally relaxed and my foot wasn't in pain. And at the same time, I was enthusiastic about conquering the next challenge. After having walked through the treacherous path at Seva Utaki, I would say walking through Gangala Stan's forest and the limestone cave that was created several thousand years ago was a piece of cake. Again, I enjoyed the beautiful nature and the pleasant weather. I had a rewarding World Heritage Tour on day 2, and on day 3, I went to Kudakajima, the island where the Ryukyu goddess descended upon. It was raining torrential rains that day, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank Narita san for picking us up at the hotel and driving us to Adama Ko to take the ferry to Kudakajima. Me and my dad were grateful for Naritake-san's hospitality. Like on the first day, Naritake-san picked us up at Naha Airport, then took us to try out the Okinawa Soba, and eventually met up with Izuhala-san later in the day. We had a luxurious dinner together. I was immensely grateful that my trip to Okinawa was a success. It wouldn't be successful without the following parties' cooperation. Firstly, I would like to thank the airline for their tolerance on my wheelchair. Secondly, I would like to thank the tour company for understanding that I could make it happen, despite me being a handicap. Lastly, I would like to thank Naritake-san and Izuhala-san for their unconditional love and care for welcoming us to Okinawa. And not to mention, I have to thank my dad for taking the time to join me in this Okinawa trip. I also have to thank the universe for granting me such wonderful experience. So the law of attraction is simply manifest your dreams, take actions, have faith in the universe, and let the universe do the rest. And be grateful when you receive the results. In the description box below, I'm going to link the official sites of Seva Utaki, Gangala Valley, Okinawa World, and Kudakajima. I'm also going to link the YouTube channel of Wheelchair Walker with the Japanese lady traveling around the world in her wheelchair. And also Naritake-san's Yokohama Gakuin YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel to see how I turn mundanities into miracles.